The chairman of the American Institute in Taiwan, James Moriarty, today expressed reservations about the recent suggestion that U.S. naval vessels should be returning to Taiwanese ports. One DPP legislator has also pointed out that even passing a bill authorizing such a move would not necessarily lead to an idea becoming reality due to U.S. reluctance to sour relations with China. The U.S. Senate's Armed Services Committee has approved a draft of the National Defense Authorization Act, which includes a passage about U.S. naval vessels resuming regular stops at Taiwanese ports. But the bill still has to pass through both houses of Congress before it goes into effect. AIT Chairman James Moriarty, however, says that such visits would obviously be very difficult and maybe even dangerous. The U.S. executive departments have many things to consider, including the mood of U.S.-China relations and whether there could be any negative impact on that. So they're being cautious and conservative. The legislature's Foreign and National Defense Committee sees Moriarty's words as calling into question the feasibility of the U.S.'s defense maneuvers in the Taiwan Strait. Even if the National Defense Authorization Bill is passed into law. The real question is whether the U.S. government goes ahead with it. The bill itself is not the problem. It's just like last year's National Defense Authorization Act, which also said it wanted to further high-level military exchange between the U.S. and Taiwan. That law has already been passed, but there's still a big question mark over whether the U.S. government will do it or not. If U.S. naval vessels were to resume docking at Taiwanese ports, it would mark a significant shift from the last 40 years of U.S. policy towards the One China principle.